In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use the leverage effect in business. But first, let me remind you how the lever works. The lever uses less input force to provide more output force. In other words, a lever is a tool for multiplying force. This is how many different devices work. Notice that the positions of two ends of the lever change differently. The distance of the right end is greater than that of the left end. This means that a slight change in the position of the left side causes a large change in the position of the right side. To operate like a lever means to use something to get a much greater effect. In business, operating leverage serves a similar purpose. Today, we will measure how changes in sales can affect operating income. The use of operating leverage is possible thanks to a combination of fixed and variable costs. As you probably know, it is not often possible to convert some variable costs into fixed costs and vice versa. As the variable cost decreases, the unit contribution margin increases, making the contribution of each unit sold much greater. In this case, fluctuations in sales have an increased effect on profitability. Do you see how small change in sales caused a big change in operating income? Fixed costs were used here as a leverage to increase operating income. Companies that lower variable costs by increasing the proportion of fixed costs use operating leverage, which, along with an increase in sales, allows them to achieve a much higher operating income than companies with a lower proportion of fixed costs. But be careful, because leverage is a two-edged sword. It means that companies with a higher operating leverage will also experience greater reductions in operating income as sales decrease. For this reason, the mix of costs that an organization chooses can have a considerable influence on its operating risk and profit level. In a CVP graph, operating leverage corresponds to the slope of the total costs line. The more horizontal the slope of this line, the greater the operating leverage. As you can see, the break-even point changes with the size of the operating leverage. Now look how operating income is changing. We can say that the lower operating leverage is safer and higher operating leverage is more risky. Since we compare a high and a low operating leverage, there must be some way to measure it. And there is. We measure it in degrees. The degree of operating leverage 
is computed by dividing contribution margin by operating income. The degree of operating leverage is a measure at a given level of sales of how a percentage change in sales volume will affect profits. Let me show you an example of how to use this formula. A company manager is considering whether to hire people to pack their products or to buy a packaging machine. Employing people means higher variable costs and purchasing a machine means higher fixed costs. Let's call hiring people as a less risky decision or safe decision and buying a machine as a more risky decision. You can see the relevant data on the size level of 10,000 units on the screen right now. The operating income is the same for both decisions. Let's calculate the degree of operating leverage now. The degree of operating leverage for the packaging machine, a risky decision, is free. And for the label, a safe decision, is 1.5. This means that the operating income will grow three times as fast as sales in the case of a risky decision. In contrast, the operating income will grow only 1.5 times as fast as its sales in the case of a safe decision. You can calculate it from this formula. Let's see what happens if sales increase by 10%. This means that in the case of a risky decision, a 10% increase in sales results in a 30% increase in operating income. So the new operating income will be $26,000. Now let's see what the operating income will be in the case of a safe decision. This time a 10% increase in sales results in a 15% increase in operating income. So the new operating income will be $23,000. You don't believe me? Let's check it out by preparing the projected income statement. New sales will be higher by 10%. This means 11,000 units. See, the operating leverage will tell you what the operating income will be when sales change. Remember, that the leverage works both ways. As sales decrease, the risky version will also show much higher percentage decreases. Look what happens when sales decrease by 10%. This time, the operating income decreased by 30% for the risky version and by 15% for the safe version. The degree of operating leverage can be used to quickly estimate what impact various percentage changes in sales will have on operating income 
without the necessity of preparing detailed income statement. Before a decision is made, safe or risky version, consider whether sales will rise or fall. Automation replaces labor with machines. It usually replaces the variable costs with fixed costs. Such automation tends to increase operating leverage. However, outsourcing usually has the opposite effect. Companies that pay other companies to make goods for them replace fixed costs with variable costs. Both approaches can be good, depending on whether we expect an increase or a decrease in sales. Let's summarize the differences in the risky and safe approach from the point of view of operating leverage. Due to the different cost structure, the contribution margin will also be different. The break-even point will be reached faster in the safe version. For this reason, the margin of safety will also be higher for the safe version. However, the risky version will have a higher operating leverage. This means a higher risk when sales decline and greater potential income when sales increase. Be careful, high operating leverage can work against your business. There is one more thing you should know about operating leverage. The degree of operating leverage is not a constant. It is greatest at sales levels near the break-even point and decreases as sales and income rise. To show this, I've prepared a new example. Let's see what the operating leverage will be at various sales levels. As you see, a 10% increase in sales will increase operating income by only 12.5%. If sales were $320,000 as compared to the 210% increase we computed earlier at the $67.2,000 sales level. The degree of operating leverage will continue to decrease as the company moves farther from its break-even point. The closer to the break-even point, the greater the value of the operating leverage. It's time for conclusions. The degree of operating leverage will tell you how much operating income will change in response to a change in sales. The use of operating leverage is possible thanks to a combination of fixed and variable costs. A higher share of fixed costs means higher operating leverage. A greater operating leverage means a greater change in operating income as sales volume changes. Therefore, a share of fixed and variable costs affects the operating risk and operating income. And last but not least, the degree of operating leverage is measured by dividing the contribution margin by operating income.